That's an Ellis face. Cute. Uh, hi, so cute. And the. I can't believe I made this. It makes no sense to me. It's Monday, January 30th. I am. What time is it? It's 9 44 a.m. I'm uploading the exclusive January video for Patreon right before I'm leaving for Philadelphia. I'm going to Philly to get tattooed by my favorite tattoo artist, Amanda. Her last name's escaping me right now, but her, her at is A Gracie. I'll share her stuff throughout the video. I'm gonna bring my camera. I never really share any tattoo stuff, so that will be cute. And since our last vlog had a little bit of travel in it, how cute of this one to have like a little bit of travel in it too, because you wouldn't expect that to come again. But I'm just finishing up a little bit of work before leaving. The drive is like eight or nine hours. I'm gonna get there tonight. Maybe go climbing tonight, right after driving. I don't like, like after a road trip, I don't like to just chill like i don't want to rest i want to run typically i'll get home from a road trip and take a walk and i'll walk toady or whatever but toady won't be there so that's the plan i need to describe uh, describe i need to design a screen cap for this exclusive video make sure it uploads and then i'm gonna leave i was initially planning on going tomorrow but plans change so i'm like rushing to do a few things before i leave but yeah, that's it, baby. Ew. Let's take a short break to thank our sponsor, Pila. Pila's mission is to create a waste-free future by offering us 100% compostable phone cases. Pila's products are compostable, which means they can break down in your backyard or industrial composting system if that's available to you. There's no greenwashing. Pila is a member of 1% for the planet, B Corp certified, and climate neutral certified. If you want to get your own Pila product, you can use the code LEE with your purchase or use the link in the description of this video to get a little discount. It has all the pinball. It looks really good with the tiger right there. That's just gonna flow real cool, bro. I have no idea. This one? Do you? It's a just messaging you right now. It makes nice. Do the tattoo thing. No, I've never heard of it. I'm not familiar.
Hi. It's February 6th. It's a Monday. This is my first day back in the studio after going to Philly. I got back last Thursday and then I took the weekend to like recuperate from my trip, but jokes on me, I was busy the whole entire time with like talking to people and going everywhere and another like non-stop experience right after a trip. So I'm still pretty, I'm feeling pretty slow. I'm feeling drowsy, sleepy. But it it was a it was a quick trip. It was only really four days, and two of those days was were driving days. I feel really I feel really disoriented coming back to work because I'm coming back to work at the beginning of a month, and the way that my work is set up is most of my stuff resets monthly because of Patreon. So right at the beginning of the month, my to do list is really long, and I just have to kind of work through it but I still have some lingering to-dos from the last month because I was traveling. So I feel like, what do I do first? I, I'm having trouble prioritizing and getting back into it, but um, I'm doing little tasks and taking it as easy as I can because truly there's no rush besides my brain telling me I need to get my stuff done. Like everything is on a deadline, but not an urgent one. Um, I'm working on mailing the remainder of my January Patreon rewards. I shared my February Patreon rewards, which got here while I was gone. Look how cute. Uh, hi, so cute. And then I did the back kind of Valentine's Day E since it's February, so cute. Wow, and then the sticker is this little devil guy kissing a frog. Uh, I think this is adorable. Love it. Um, they look really cute together. I'm really happy with them. It's been a minute since I've been like really happy with the Patreon reward. So that's kind of thrilling. I am, yeah. So I'm gonna hop over to the desk over there and just mail out the remainder of the January rewards. Um, and start crossing some more stuff off my to-do list, baby. <laughs> That's where I put them. Do you water my plant? Thanks. Maybe it's just the sunlight. It seems extra green over here. Don't need to worry. I'm not worried. We're done talking. What? We're done talking. Yeah, I'm done. I'm working right now. Maybe we'll catch up later. Cool. Has to be shipped by Friday or be there by Friday? Shipped.
Ivy. Um, I'm gonna go help Claire get Ivy. Okay. That's all right. Mm-hmm. I also just accidentally paid myself for the water bill, so. Thanks, Stu. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pay you for the water bill. Over to. Hello, it's February 8th. I just made this little ditty here. I have a couple regrets about it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love the border, the fruit border is so cute. The pink dog, the pink for the dogs. It's my one regret. I do feel like I, I saved it a bit with the dark green background behind the dogs. It makes it look less like cutesy and more something else. Um, but I did it because I really loved this piece I did, which I filmed and shared for my patrons. I think it's so cute. And now that I'm looking at it, like, I did a much cleaner job on this one, but I still like this one more. The dog in the middle just really does it for me, where these dogs just kind of do it for me. The light blue on the border, too, I'm a little indifferent, too. I love the way it makes the colors look. I don't know. I think I just like loved this one so much that I'm being hard on this one because like it's really not bad. But if you're curious about what I used to make it, I'm using these Neo Color. I'm using a couple different things. I have these. So one of them is a Neo Color oil pastel, and the other ones are Neo Color 2 Aquarelle water activated water-soluble wax pastel. I have a mix of both. Someone sent me a box of, um, I guess a mixture of the two. And then I picked up some when I was in LA with um, Megan and Tiffany. So I have a mix. I don't know which ones are which, I just have them all together. Cause why not? But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun working on these. I used Bristol board paper to make it. So the paper was really smooth and nice and the oil, the the crayons, these fancy crayons just went on really smooth. I didn't want any tooth to like give it a texture. I wanted it to be like creamy and nice. They're a little different from what I've done previously. Like I don't, I'm not usually a border girl. Maybe I'm a border girl now, who knows? But yara, yeah. I um, was just informed by James that I have to make two to, th I get to choose, but I'm gonna be part of this postcard show, which I was part of. Um, like years ago, maybe like three or four years ago when I need to get 
three five by seven pieces done and shipped by Friday and today's Wednesday, which I do think is possible. I just like wasn't prepared to do it. Um, I'll probably end up doing some like really simple stuff. Maybe I'll use my, my fancy crayons or maybe I'll do something with oil pastel, but probably not. Oil pastel is so like, it's messy and like shipping it and moving it around I just don't think would be good. So maybe I'll use my crayons or like ink. I don't know, I just need to like make them and get it over with. Not in the way that I don't wanna do it, it's just like I know if I start overthinking it, I'm gonna get freaked out and overwhelmed and that's not what we're going for here. It's not. Okay, these are the three pieces I did for the postcard show I'm gonna be in. Uh, I'll put the information for the show on the screen. I um, started with this one, as you may have seen, but working with the crayons, the Neo Color Aquarels is the literally broken one, but um, it just was a little challenging on such a small I also don't think I picked the right design to work with them on a small size. So after this, I did this version of the same design. I can't even tell if I have this in the shot. Um, like I can't see my little screen because it's so bright. I did this version of it. I wasn't in love with it, but I really like how the colors I chose came out. It looks kind of washed out and cute followed it up with a classic vase because i wanted a low pressure option um because i know i can just like draw this up and it'll be totally fine i love all the vases with the flowers especially lilies in it with the fish on it it's like my look right now i carried it over the colors so it would look like a set then last i did well then i did this one which i do think is cute like i think this one's cute it's just off center like this side has too much space in it and it has to be five by seven or else I would have just cut it and used it, but it's still cute. And then I did this one as my last one for the set of three. And I think they look really cute together. Um, the colors are, are nice. Um, I did like a little cherry theme to carry it and the butterfly. So yeah, I have to mail these out tomorrow officially, but I'm just gonna pack them up to ship today, maybe. I am happy with how these came out. I tried to approach them more like a sketchbook drawing rather than like a piece of art, because sometimes when I'm, when I'm making art for a purpose like this, like 
for this show, I feel like it has to be some sort of like perfect, beautiful art piece. Like I can't be casual and then I end up trying too hard and then like I lose myself. I went for sketchbook. Um, I think they're fine. I've really come to accept them and I keep messing them up because I have <laughs> um, all this like crayon dust on my desk. But uh, yeah, there they are. I'll email them once you have a shipping okay. number, tracking number. It's February 14th, it's Valentine's Day. Um, happy Valentine's Day. I crocheted this, this sweater as my second sweater. I crocheted my first sweater last week and this is my second one. I'm so proud of it. I can't believe I made a sweater. I started crocheting a few months ago and I crochet at home so I don't have my camera there so I don't really film it. And I really started crocheting because Shishi san on Instagram made these awesome sweaters and I was like, that's it. I'm learning how to crochet. I can wait no longer. So I did a couple projects here and there. I made, I crocheted like a hat and like some granny squares and some granny squares. And then I made a granny square balaclava hood. And then I was like, I'm gonna try to make a sweater. And it went totally fine, which makes, makes no sense. Like I definitely had to wing it a little bit and just like figure stuff out. This is my second sweater, which I was a little bit more experienced and knew kind of what I liked and what I didn't like. So I think this one went a little bit smoother and better, but it's so cute. Like I can't believe I made this. It makes no sense to me, no sense. I'm currently editing this video. It's on screen right now, right there. Um, but I'm gonna end it here. I worked on another project in February that's gonna be its own separate video. So um, that will be coming soon. I'm really excited about it. My friend Dan, who owns a local coffee shop here that I adore, asked me to work on a little collaboration with them. So I'm going to share a video of me working on that next. So it'll be really exciting. I've never really done anything like that before. So I'm coming to a close on that project on my end, like currently, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not done with it yet. So I, I'd rather just put it all in one video. You know what I mean? But also now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I should wait until like the whole collaboration is done to post the video. So it might be longer than like next video, we'll see. Thank you so much for watching this video and making it to the end. I truly appreciate all the support I get on YouTube. I can't believe it. I get so many nice comments and support. So thank you so much. I also want to give a big shout out to my little puppy patrons. I've been really quiet on social media and on Patreon because I've been working on this collaboration with Proud Hound, so Thank you for sticking around anyways, even though I've been nowhere to be found. Um, I just can't share the work I've been making, so I'm just a ghost. I hope you've been staying hydrated. I kind of have been, honestly, not that well. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.